Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part three of my West Coast playbook single back doubles north set up. This playbook right here, or this formation rather, really started off because of this halfback pitch and uh, this halfback H power are just really dominant run plays. That was video number one. It was both of the run plays. So if you want to see that, make sure you click the link. I'll pop that up uh, as I'm talking about it. Other than that, some really good uh, pass plays that I did in the second video, including a one-play touchdown out of the PA rollout. So if you guys want to see that, I'll be probably popping that up right now as I'm talking about it. Uh, but let's go and let's get into part three. These are some more uh, precision type of pass plays. Uh, more specifically, the wide receiver corner. This one right here is definitely one of my favorite uh, and extremely cheesy plays. I put out uh, variations of this in the past, uh, but this play right here is just so easy. It's just like one of the easiest setups, and uh, it's in this formation as well. So we're going to go. We're going to pick the random nickel. I mean, this setup is, is really good. You already have a, a, a corner strike on the right side. On the other side, you have um, you know what's really adjustable. You can do a bench switch. You can do a... Uh, you can put them on a streak and that's kind of like an angle like the tight end angle out of the um, What do they call it the deuce close which is really popular uh, what I like to do uh, is I like to uh, to motion over I, I mean this I like the corner strike concept you can leave it if you want to but in the first video I did a, uh, a Motion of this guy over for a blocking setup and it's gonna have the same Positive effect if I motion him over now and put him into a flat route. So basically, um, you know, this looks like it's it's a cover two. So this flat route should be wide open in the flats. Um, I can also motion snap him if I want to because that's what I did with the run play. So if I motion snap him, you're gonna see how uh, he just gets out and he doesn't catch the ball. Nice, nice catch, Tori. Nice catch, you bum. That's why you're not an eagle anymore. So we're gonna try that one more time. Hopefully this time we'll catch it and run. Uh, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. I have the wrong adjustment in, but that's all good. So we're going to go over and motion snap this guy again. You can see how he just gets incredible separation and acceleration of the flats. And it's just an easy 10 yards. So like I said, it matches the first play really well, which is kind of why, you know, I think it's it's important. So let's go ahead. I think the reason that he's, um, he's, he's you know, I have to wait till I motion him halfway before I put him into the adjustment for the flat because at the moment he's doing like a corner concept. But either way, I still think he, he works better if you stop him. Um, you know, you can see he's still getting the accelerator. He doesn't quite get the separation. Still get the separation, but not quite the acceleration there. As you can see, um, you know, I only got five yards that time. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna continue with the, actually I didn't even do it right because I didn't have the receiver here on a streak. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and run just like this. If it's a cover three, which I have not been seeing too much of, that's a cover two. You can still see he beats it right at the seam. So just have to pass lead side a little bit. So really good cover two concept here all around. If anything, I also think that Ertz would be better in a streak. Or I'm sorry, in a drag. Uh, this would probably be a better setup because Ertz over there on by, his, by himself isn't really doing anything. Uh, but here he's a nice little check down. Um, so that would really be a better setup. I hadn't really mentioned him yet. But at the same time, like I said, you can always just put it in a bench switch. And then you got a bench switch on one side, a corner strike on the other. I'm not a huge fan of either one of these concepts. I don't really run them very often. I'm pretty sure that no matter what, I'm going to be pass leading Aguilar inside. Whether it's a cover two or cover three, that's just the way that it is for that particular route. So here we go. We're going to go ahead. We messed that up. We motion hiked that wrong. But it's all good because you still got the two levels of passing here. So Ertz is still going to get eight, nine yards. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this one more time. Hopefully I can get a nice big catch and run. I'm really trying to highlight that underneath route. And there you go. They leave it wide open. Easy 10 yards. I mean, you can do that third and 10, fourth and 10. If you want to see more West Coast, because I definitely have a lot more in the near and the far formations, I think, and the weak formations and stuff like that, that people don't really touch on too much, I got a place for that. So if you want to see that, hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching. That much out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.